Hello, I am Dr. Purna from Bangladesh, now living in UK. Firstly, I would like to give thanks to my God and my mentor, Dr. Ahad, owner of MRCP syndrome. Regarding my MRCP part 2 preparation, it is already well known about past test and past medicine Q bank, as well all the candidates appear in part 2 who passed in part 1 already. So past test and past medicine, uh, these question banks are the backbone of preparation of MRCP part 2. Although the real questions are not much similar to the Q banks, but again, these Q banks question concepts are important for preparing for the part 2. I followed Dr. Ahad's all notes, pile notes, mag boxes, radiology, portion, textbook portion, BNJ and RCP sample paper. And I followed all his suggestions, trips and tricks regarding the preparation before my exam. And I solved the RCP sample paper with uh, Dr. Ahad in a life class and uh, those helped me a lot to differentiate the diagnosis. Although I appeared uh, to the previous diet but I could not make it uh, that time. For a few marks and in this diet I found the question paper was very much very much hard for me and I left one question in paper one so I would not expect passing but luckily I passed so it's very important for the future candidate to manage the time in part 2 exam because uh, the must say things are the questions are hard in that scenario that all the questions have a big chart of investigation so and image ECG so and tricky history so careful reading of the question whole question paper and what they wanting either they wanting the image diagnosis or the whole scenario diagnosis let's find out first and during answering the questions don't jump to an option it's better to analyze all the options why it should not be the answer or why it should be the answer that already dr ahad say in several tips uh, so careful look about the history History duration, is it either acute or chronic or subacute? Yeah, are the patient pregnant or not? And the gender of the patient, adult or elderly, first line treatment or second line treatment or third line treatment, what they wanted, penicillin allergic or not? And the, the a, a big uh, chart of investigation, they are uh, they're given uh, more values like FEV1, FBC, phenotest, ANCA, IgG, IgM. All the values are given, so careful look out on them and don't skip the important things during in your preparation like all the ECGs, ECO already told by Dr. Ahad and try to follow all the suggestions of MRCP syndrome. Read Pearl Notes Mad Box from the very beginning. I read them for the, from the very beginning of part 1 as I was with Dr. Ahad's MRCP syndrome from the part 1 so it is well known about Mad Box to me. Uh, so if who are not uh, well known about Mad Box and Pearl Notes Please read them from the very beginning of your preparation. It's are like life saving. It's are like life saving. The mad boxes, pal notes, radiology portions, all are that. Randomly Google all the investigation findings. When will you read in the question bag or any other notes? Then they will set in the brain and keep revising all the notes of MRCP syndrome and watch uh, LFTL for ECG. Radiopedia for images and uh, Darmanets for dermatology pics and random Google pics on regular basis. Then uh, it will be set in the brain. And uh, now wishing we, uh, you all the best. Good luck in exam. And again giving thanks and my gratefulness to Dr. Ahat again. He made my exam easier and smooth from the beginning of my MRCP journey. So best wishes for MRCP syndrome.